Okay. It's the beginning of turn 15. There are 31 dead Russian units. We have 10, 15, 20, 25 victory point hexes. Uh, VP, VP points for hexes, I should say. This turn, the Soviets got their asses kicked so hard that I lost a shoe. First of all, uh, we're gonna have to put up the shadows, I'm sorry. This area here, uh, if you, uh, you haven't <coughs> read it yet, because I haven't written it, but I have notes. Uh, this town here was a key objective for the four turn cycle from turn 12 through turn 16. And somehow I've managed to do it even with units and a supply and great die rolls. And we have just blown apart this line here, which now allows us to keep all of this in supply because I can trace back to the east, uh, to the western edge, which is a good thing. So that's good news. Oh, God, damn, a little blocked up nose, so I'm sorry. <coughs> So I have been gradually trying to ease back here because remember our objective is to either move units off the board or encircle uh, the uh, city of Moscow by the end of the game. Now what I am going to do is if I can get 30, the equivalent of 30 units off the board, we're going to call the game at that point. And uh, I'm not sure I'm going to play this all the way through to 31 turns, we'll see. So, okay, so great advances there, really good stuff, great rolls. We had seven attacks this turn, and every attack was a success by the Sokovs, obviously enough. And uh, we had at least one, two, three attacks that allowed us to uh, do significant advances. Here I decided to stop being coy, and then uh, just I'm just going for a ball to the wall. I'm gonna try and get around here and just get off either on section seven or section uh, section eight over here, there at sector six, is that six? Yeah, that's six, that's seven. So either six or seven. Seven, I get two VPs per unit off, six, I get one, but we're going for it. I'm taking all these guys, we're just out. I think that's the plan, even though it's halfway through the game. Uh, I figure there's no point in waiting. Over here, although you might be initially concerned about all the units out of supply, I figured that as long as you're not unsupported, our supply is not that bad. So uh, we are going to continue. Mo we we did some attacking here. I had units in supply. Actually, I didn't. These were in supply. Sorry, the thirteenth was in supply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he wasn't now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I must have bumped him. He was in supply. <coughs> Six. Yeah, they were all here at the beginning of the turn, and then we moved and attacked. Either way, if I screwed it up, I screwed it up. At the end of the Soviet, at the beginning of the Soviet turn, all of these units were out of supply. Let's not ramble on more than usual. So I captured this city here, and that is also a network hub for me in terms of road. Uh, I need that to supply the, these guys as an alternative and I need it to get the 24th back in supply. 24th has been out of supply most of the game. Down here with the 47th coming on board and being able to be in supply because we have Tula. Uh, this is a, a 43rd unit that's just out of range uh, as of as of last turn. Actually, he's back in range, so he's good. Uh, <coughs> so, here, we need to capture this city, obviously, because it heads west. So we had a huge turn. We knocked out uh, two units here, two units here, a bunch of units down there. I'm still playing cat and mouse with myself down here, and I'm really kind of fed up with this uh, whole situation. So, I've got a do supply for the beginning of the 15th turn and bring some reinforcements on, I think. I'm not sure. 
and then we'll, we'll, we'll go for it from there. All right, I'll talk to you soon.